Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to open an Apple Pages document uh, in Windows without any additional software. So there's a couple ways you could do it. So if you just want to view the page, uh, there's one way, but if you want to edit it, you know, work on it, then there's another way. So if you just want to view the page, you could take your um, Pages file here and change the extension for Pages to Zip. So let's do that real quick. And then once you open it, you'll see the contents of the file, and you want to look for the file called Preview. And you can see here we have our resume template file, but it's just an image. We can't do anything with it. And there's also a couple smaller versions as well. Okay, so we're going to change this to uh, back to Pages. So now... Assuming you have a Google account, which most people do, you could upload this to Google Drive and then convert it. So we've got the Google Drive account open here, so we're going to upload it. So new file upload, or you could drag and drop to, whatever you want to do. So this is Pages file. Okay, so we've got the upload, so here it is. So we just want to right-click on it, open with, and we want to pick Cloud Convert. So you want to sign in. You want to give uh, Cloud Convert permission to talk to Google Drive. Okay. And if you don't have an account, you just need to register real quick. Just make a username to go along with their email address here. Okay, so now we're going to convert this to We'll do a docx so we could open it in Word and edit it. You could also do an older doc, txt, or PDF. Obviously, text is not going to keep the formatting. And if you could check this box, it'll save it to Google Drive automatically. Okay, so now it's finished. So it'll be in your Google Docs. So we're going to download this which will actually open it in Google Docs. Okay, so there's our resume template in Google Docs. But one thing you notice, depending on what you're downloading or what you're converting, so see how this is not, uh, it's treating it like an image, you can't edit it. You could delete it and add your own text if you want. But if you were to download it, from your Google Docs here, or your Google Drive, I should say. So now that it made the file here. So you could right click on it, download. Okay, so now we're gonna open it in Word this time. And now you can see we could actually edit the text. So once again, to uh, view the file, change the extension from .pages to .zip, then you could open it and look for the preview file. Or if you actually want to work on it, you could upload it to your Google Drive, right-click on it, open with, do Cloud Convert, uh, make an account if you need to, pick your format, and then you could either try and open it in Google Docs Online, see if it'll let you work on it. If not, you could just download it and then work on it in Word. Or you, maybe you could uh, save it as something else in Word and then re-upload it to your Google Docs. Maybe it'll let you work on it in Google Docs that way. All right. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.